happy Sunday, everyone. And thank you for coming to St. Lucy's YouTube channel. Before we begin, I would love if you can all subscribe, like, and comment on this video. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Karen Solano, and I am one of the catechists preparing some of the children in our parish for their first communion sacrament. Along myself, I have another catechist that helps me in my class, Miss Alana, and you'll be seeing her in some of our videos. The Virgin will be pregnant. She will have a son and they will name him Emmanuel. The name means God is with us, Matthew 1.23. God's ways and timing are always perfect. God picked just the right time for Jesus to come to earth and he picked just the right parents for him. A young girl named Mary was alone one day when an angel appeared right in front of her. She couldn't believe her eyes. Don't be afraid, Mary, said the gentle voice of God's angel, Gabriel. God is pleased with you. Soon you will have a baby boy. His name will be Jesus. Nothing is impossible for God. Mary trusted her Lord. I will do whatever God wants, she told Gabriel. Jesus calling, remember that I am Emmanuel, God with you. And rejoice, be happy because I come into the world and into your life. Joseph, the sentient of David, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The baby in her is from the Holy Spirit. Matthew 1.20 Mary's fiance Joseph found out that she was going to have a baby before they were married. Joseph was worried. An angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The baby is from the Holy Spirit. Name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he obeyed God and did just what the angel commanded. Jesus calling. If you could look through my eyes, seeing what, how everything fits together, you would see how wonderfully I am caring for you. This is why you must live by faith and not by sight, trusting that I am with you and love you. Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. Malayic 3.1 Mary's cousin Elizabeth was very old when an angel told her husband, Zechariah, that they would have a son and that they were to name him John. John would tell people why they needed a savior and that the one to save them was Jesus. When Elizabeth had her baby, everyone celebrated with her and Zechariah. Then Zechariah said, You, my little son, will be called the prophet of the Most High, because you will prepare the way for the Lord. You will tell his people how to find salvation through forgiveness of their sins. Jesus calling. God sent John to be a messenger who told people to repent and be ready for me. My Father in heaven sent me to save you from your sins. This is very good news. Thank you all for staying and hearing the second part of the story of Christmas. Now, let's see myself and Miss Alana light the second candle of the Advent season. Light two candles and sit for a moment in silence. Christ, our hope, illuminate our hearts with your grace. Enlarge our vision so that we recognize our kinship with all the people of the world. Help us to give to others in ways that meet their deepest needs. We await your coming with gratitude. Amen. <laughs> 